The Timurids have arrived in 1212 AD and today we have them invading the Ottoman Empire at the Battle of Ankara Fort in 1402. This in history was a devastating battle for the Ottomans where they lost their sultan and their empire went into a decade year civil war. Will history be recreated once again? Will the Timurids defeat the famed Ottoman Empire on the battlefield? Or will the Ottomans be able to change history and redeem some lost glory? We have a glorious 4v4 here uh, on 1212 AD. And it's a big one. There's 19,000 troops. The balance power ever so slightly in favor of the Timurids. The Ottomans are up against it as they face off against hordes of cavalry here already. And we have uh, some... War elephants as well. We have three units of Indian elephants here ready to be used in action, and I'm excited to see how this one goes down. The Timurids, if you don't really know much about them, led by um, Timur the Lame or Timberlane, uh, or a Mongol sort of like type faction, that also conquered large swathes of Persia and are about to absolutely annihilate a spear unit there. Light cab coming in from the, Mo from the Timurids, there's a Mongol light cab there. Did take a lot of losses, but it caught a absolutely brilliant charge off there onto the Decimal Spears. That's not a bad result there for the uh, Timurids. They just need to get that Mongol Light Lancer out of there now and uh, try and do some more damage. You can see that the uh, Turks are coming forward with some CPI and also some Horse Archers as well. Uh, the Yeah, the Mongol, well, the Timurid army, or well, the Mongol, uh, are in a very much Mongol sort of style army. A lot of cavalry and also some elephants. And uh, they outnumber the Turks by about 40,000, uh, maybe even more. I mean, the, the numbers for the uh, Timurids are somewhere between like 120 and 140,000. The Turks have somewhere between like 60 and 80,000. Not quite sure, but it's a vast, uh, like like a vast army Timur had uh, at his hands. It's a massive, massive army. There's like, the Timurids could have like threatened the rest of the uh, Ottoman Empire if they wanted to, and maybe even Europe. Uh, they were just, yeah, massive, massive empire and under a very, very capable commander as well. I actually think we have um, Timur Hayes, the Shah Zagadan uh, Guard, I think. Uh, but I think actually quite a few of them have brought, uh, brought it, but I don't think they were supposed to. But yeah, you can see here, uh, I think we got like two guards, um, but I think this one over here is the one that's actually Timur himself. We also do have uh, Bayezid the second here, uh, the Ottoman Sultan, he's here with the... Uh, bodyguard of the Sultan so he's getting ready to uh, to battle hopefully he does not get captured today and you know put in in a, in a golden cage as he was apparently famously before then dying and uh, yeah it'll be interesting to see how this one goes down the uh, certainly the Timurids look like they're going to be really strong in their right the Ottomans are doing the same on their own right hand side and are really pushing the Timurid left back you see being super aggressive here are the Ottomans they were in history as well the aggressors in this one they actually even though they had a smaller army um were the ones to make the first move and actually attack the Timurids. And then the Timurids kind of used their horse archers and they sort of did a crescent formation and encircled a large portion of the Ottoman army. You've got these light spearmen here now rushing forward for the Ottomans, seeing if they can catch any of these troops here. But uh, yeah, these uh, medium melee troops getting out of here quite comfortably. But yes, if you're enjoying 1212 AD and would like to see some more historical battles or are just enjoying seeing this medieval mod on the channel, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here and a comment to show your support. It really does help out the channel. And yes, the Timurids are a new faction added to 1212, so it's had a bit of an update recently. Um, and yeah, we've had Models 9 added, which adds a few new units, I think for other factions as well. I think there's been a few updates for some other factions. But the Timurids are the big update that has come. And uh, yeah, they've uh, they've added up. They're a new faction. They're pretty much like a Mongol and Persian sort of like hybrid uh, army. They're quite cool. So we're about to see a charge here, maybe from the medium shot cab. What's it going into? Spears over here. Looks like they're not going to uh, pull back. Oh, they did at the last second there. That was very brave. I, mean, I think they could have smashed that spear even if they wanted to. The light spear at the end of the day is not going to do too much damage. And I see some uh, Ottoman troops here getting picked off as well by some of the Mongol cab here. Mongol Lance is going in again, devastating another Despot Spear. And that was a rear charge, so that'll be an even better charge there for the, uh, for the Mongol Light Lances. And it looks like they're going to throw in even more. Uh, and it looks like they're going to try and go for these hybrids as well. Looks like the uh, Janissaries over here are going to get picked off by Mongol Light Lances. And Janissaries did take a large sort of proportion of the army. They were like. They were a big, they like the center force. I think they were like the center sort of like battalion of the Ottoman army. 
So yeah, there's a lot of them here, and also a lot of Serbs and a lot of sort of like Balkan troops that the uh, Ottomans have just countered. And actually, the uh, Tatars changed sides for the uh, Ottomans and joined Timurid's troops, uh, which is kind of one of the downfalls there. You have the Delhi Lancers coming in. They've uh, just charged those, uh, those Mongol White Lancers there. Uh, very good charge into them. And trying to save those uh, Javis and Harami. See how uh, that goes. Swords over here also suffering some of the uh, Serbians there against Mongol White Lancers. Uh, the Mongols do have probably uh, less, uh, have more cab, but it's probably less armored. A lot of it's more medium and light cab. And the Ottomans here have some really strong cab. But the elephants as well, if they want to use those, are cab killers. These guys are really good. They should really be being sent in. The, uh, the Mongol uh, general here getting an easy kill into the uh, Blastella there, routing that. Yeah, the, the uh, Ottomans just need to get up their infantry, these decimal spears, get them into the cab fights and try and even up these fights. The Azaps as well going in. This Javi light infantry fighting up against, looks like a lot of like light spears, the Hashar here, trying to defeat them and they've broken through. That is a nice little victory there. And the Ottomans yell this right flank doing a lot of good work here. They're pushing hard, really, really fast and they need to keep that pressure on because on the other side here, the Mongols are, or the Timurids are doing the exact same thing and they are yeah, attacking back pretty heavily with a lot of cab there on that right. A lot of units just tied up here, which possibly don't need to be for the uh, Timurids as well. They've got like extra units that are just not on the front lines. Pull them out, send them elsewhere. We've got Janus 3, shock infantry now going in for the Ottomans. He's a lead infantry with their big axe. He's going to start carving through the spear lines. Shock does really well against spears in 12-12 uh, AD. Yeah, if you ever want to get involved in any of these sort of scenario battles, feel free to join my Discord. The link is down below in the description. It's the best place to go to get involved in any sort of these big epic scenarios that we do. And you can do big glorious things like this charge here into the Azab Swords. Beautiful charge there from the Timurids. That's a medium cav unit getting in there. The uh, Kulu, Kulu Chi. They've uh, managed to get in there and they're doing some good damage. Another cav unit coming in here, side charging these spears there. again, doing a lot of damage. To those, have the elephants got in yet? No, they haven't. They've uh, not really wanted to send them in. The Azaps over here with their javelins, I think, are what is scaring them off. Uh, this one's actually been damaged pretty heavily, so I think that one might have been in, or it just might have been. I think it might just be javied also. I think from the Azaps or archers, by the looks of it as well. Um, but yeah, it looks like the uh, battle line here. They've kind of broken through. I have the Mongols or the Timurids, whatever you prefer to call them. And a big cab fight is now starting to get on underway over here. As you can see. The Ottomans have committed. The Mongol light lands his eye in here as well, trying to do their bid against the Serbian cavalry. I think the um, like the sort of like the vassal lord of Bosnia and like uh, at the time, it was like Bosnians and Serbs. He also um, was like a relative of uh, Bayezid II. Because Bayezid had married uh, one of his uh, one of his sisters, I think, or one of his daughters. And he's uh, kind of been uh, like become part of the family the like fight. that. So be, they were quite loyally fighting, even though they've been recently conquered at the uh, Bosnians and Serbs. We've got Pushandar in here, so it's a heavy hybrid uh, cab unit. Dead. That's got in. And then an enemy general has died, so one of the generals has actually fallen. Uh, it's the one way out on this far flank over here. That one has died, and that might now shatter the, uh, the right... Uh, well, the left flank for the Timurids, the right for the Ottomans, and might break a lot more of their infantry here. Got a lot of hybrids for both sides in this one. So, uh, yeah, those archers are going to be very handy for both sides in both melee and also shooting. For Shandar, falling back, but they might get a good rear charge here into some of the, uh, the Black Sea. See. And they made it a little bit, but not too great. And it looks like also there's uh, some Timurai CPI cab that I think actually wasn't going for the Pushandar. It looks like it was going on for the next unit beyond. It's looking very messy down here. But it does look as though uh, the Timurids are winning that fight. We're actually seeing a general now being committed here from the Ottomans. We've got a Bear Blade a bodyguard going in, trying to hold the line. There's a lot of cav in here as well, stuck in the need to get out. There's now infantry in here fighting the, the cavalry. Get the, uh, the cav out, get, let the infantry just do their work there because the Ottomans still Enemy stretch a little bit for cavalry. Ready. There's still lots of cavalry units back here that are not yet to go. And these are me maybe just medium bow cav, but you know, can still do some damage late game, that is for sure. Um, I think the elephants 
haven't really been committed just yet. They've kind of just died. There's this one here still alive. I don't know if the other one... Oh, the other one has uh, been routed. In fact, I think it's because the Azaps and also this the Archers shameful. just dealing with them. And we've got a Cav, you know, way back here. Mongol Little Light uh, Lancer. Might want to uh, rejoin the fight soon. But maybe he's just waiting there patiently to uh, deal a hammer blow. And the old ones aren't looking. Yeah, let me know who, know who you're rooting for. Are you rooting for the new faction of Timurids or are you rooting for the Ottomans? I feel like at this moment in time, it's very evenly balanced, the balance of power. And it looks like we've got a charge going in here. Elephants charging into spears. I don't think this is a wise idea. Trying to knock these guys aside. A unit is running from the and they've enemy. actually, in fact, routed. That is not good there. And it looks like we're going to see, uh, yeah, Generals over here being committed. And we also got some uh, heavy bow cap as well being committed in here, and they're just, just trying to stomp through these guys. They are breaking quite a few of these Ottoman units, and they are also uh, losing decisively uh, a few of the Ottoman units. With seeing spears arrive here, so yeah, some of the, uh, the spear infantry, the desperate spearmen, trying to get stuck in. The uh, guard has fallen back there, the, uh, the general. It looks like we're going to see some swords go in as well. They're running out of infantry, though, on this flank here are the Timurids. And they're actually seeing hybrids now going into the fight. They are winning this fight, even if they're fighting um, some of the cavalry. The fight back on this side. We've now got pole arms in here for the Ottomans. We've got their elite Janissary Billman being thrown in. They're just kind of holding this line if they have to. Just trying to protect the, uh, the Javis. They're getting focused down themselves by uh, archers and horse archers over here. This big cab fight still going on, on as well, not really been decided. But it does look as though the Ottomans have managed to win a few fights here with the Balkan nobles. Whether they could get around the Timurids here and surround them, I do not know. They might be able to. We've got a general here. We've got uh, the bodyguard here going in. It looks like he's going to try and deal with this uh, Turkash a band. The Turkish band, I presume that is. But yeah, it looks like the uh, Timurids are breaking through here, actually. This general here, I think, is about to die for the Ottomans. And there's another general is uh, very close the to the front lines as well. And again, the Serbs in here trying to fight on as hard as they can. There you go, Our general has fallen for the, uh, for the Turks. The bodyguards there have been uh, killed off. And now we're going to see this uh, Sultan, I think, going in a moment. I think he's going to try and deal with this horse archer. He can kill this horse archer off. Then he can, he's got a lot of targets to hit here, but it looks like also the Timurids are sending some swords, trying to bat, uh, back him up. There's a crossbows here, I think, shooting into the uh, general. So need to be careful of that. The left flank over here for the Timurids are still not looking great. The elephants actually returned and then went berserk. They're now flattening some of their own men. There you go, back into the Serbs. These guys have probably never seen an elephant before in their lives since they're from like Serbia and Bosnia. They're absolutely just getting slapped up here by elephants. A beast they're not, uh, yeah, they're unaware of really. You might have heard of them in stories, but probably never seen them. And these guys are getting routed with 130 troops left. The power of elephants for you. Got more pole arms coming in, some bolt to see uh, guard being thrown grouped. in. And it looks like the, men are the Ottomans aren't really slowing down here. They're just keep trying to catch any unit they can. And then circling them as well, trying to route these guys. The cab, though, is low on this flank here. And whether the Timurids can take advantage of that, I don't know. If they can just isolate a few units and charge them with cavalry, even these horse archers would be pretty good. And probably a charge. They have got heavy sort of ability. And you can see here, it's still not looking good. The uh, Timurids sort of broke this uh, front over here and my general who was uh, over here is actually having to retreat he might die here though in this fight and as you can see the Ottomans are getting encircled as we have swords and off. some uh, shock infantry here now flanking on around and 
there you go. The encirclement is starting to be completed. There is another general that's about to die here, though. And that might be uh, Tamur himself. If the Orbans manage to win this, I mean, massive change in history this would be if it was this weird a historical timeline. I guess it would mean there'd be no civil war. The Ottomans would, like, not regress like they did. And, and you probably lives. see, uh, as well, the Timurids, uh, having lost Timur, there would probably be, um, well, just starts to disintegrate. But there you go. Uh, the general has broken. Also, uh, one of the uh, Tabadaria units here has also broken for the Timurids. And that general's going to get out just about alive. And the Ottomans might have just sort of survived and encircled when they're just about that's very very lucky more cab coming in those more hybrid shock cab coming in doing what damage they can and also those hybrid archers that can can go into melee and do a lot of damage as well over on this flank here looks like the almonds are just using their generals and things like that just to slow down these hybrid units trying to pick some units off allow the infantry to catch up And looks like we've got Despot Spears joining this fight, or just some, some Serbian Spears anyway, joining the fight. You can see that the, uh, the Turks are moving up. Balance power is now shifted in favour of the Turks. We've got 3,800 against 2,000 Timurids. But if the Timurids can quickly kill this off, it'll even up that fight quite nicely. You can see over here another Timurid general running down Janissaries. Did kind of just pull through there though, trying to attack that Janissary. So uh, now he goes back in, and there you go. He just charges into that uh, into that Janissary unit. Probably should route that there. These Janissaries, even though they're light archers, are actually reasonably decent in melee. They actually, you know, you get out a sword and a shield or an axe and a shield. There's a few of them up here, and yeah, they'll they'll do some damage. Bowman here firing still while they're also in melee. That's cheating, man. Come on. They do look good, these uh, Kushandar. Getting shot up by, I don't know what. Oh, more, more crossbows over here. So, yeah, these uh, shock infantry, the giant streets here, even though they might be routing some of these Kushandar, I think many because they've just lost a general. The, men's resolve the uh, crossbows failing. are murdering. The, uh, the Janissaries. I mean, we've still got a general here alive, whether he could influence. Looks like he's being scared off by uh, some of the Timurid generals that are still alive. And as you can see over here, men, from the, enemy. the Ottomans are just rolling up these last rem remnants of what is, I guess, the Timurid center at this point. A lot of elite sort of uh, archers that have been thrown in. I mean, they've got some really heavy janissaries themselves. They've got something to match the uh, the pushandar. Yeah, these are the, uh, the janissary hybrids, the heavy hybrids anyway. They're both light and heavy hybrids. That's the, Janus, that's the Ottomans. It's a very very cool faction, just for that reason. There you go. Yeah, the generals actually the only thing that survived from that. The Ottomans looked like they had won this fight. And one, they saw like the breakout from their own in, uh, from their encirclement. They've still managed to get killed off in the end, and it looks like we're going to see uh, this general getting caught as well. He's uh, ex well, he's very tired. He's getting caught by uh, a medium bow cab at the moment, which is just quicker than him. And the Ottomans don't have any cab left, I think, at this point, apart from this general. But I don't enemy. think he's long for this world if these. Uh, if these Timbridge uh, units catch up with him, he's very much dead. He's isolated as well, but yeah. The Ottomans have like a little wavering cab unit left, but that is it. While the Timurids still have uh, two generals and they'll have that other horse archer as well. So they do have a big asset there in Cav, and Cav does rule in Attila Total War. The Azap infantry here going in with their sort of like Santa looking hats. Red and white there. The 
this is a big asset for the Ottomans. They have pole arms left. So the Baltici guard. There's a light pole arm unit. It's very vulnerable to archers. So just the lack of armor. So the uh, Timurids want to use it. That's to their advantage to try and focus them down maybe with like the crossbows or if they've got any of these hybrids left yeah. Well the general here is actually wavering, which is not good. Uh, he's obviously going to be a main target now for archers. Going to get shot at the Janistry. A shock which is broken through this uh, defensive line here. Can either encircle units or can keep char charging off the crossbows or get charged by the Timber General himself. And then here he goes. Good charge there. Absolutely flattening the the Ottoman unit there, and that is uh, very the much shot, dead shock from the trees. The spears chasing. They aren't going to let him just get out of that one alive. The, uh, yeah, and the pole arms have uh, broken that, uh, that sword line there, and it looks like I think the Timurids are about to mass route. They've kind of mass route on this flank over here. We're now seeing fire archers. Uh, or fire arrows being used to try and route these generals a bit quicker. He's at minus four morale because of projectiles already wavering as well. Just need to keep trying to break him. But yeah, a pretty close fight, that's for sure. I mean, there's 2,500 left of a uh, a 10k army. And then, yeah, I mean, the obviously the Timur is going to die to a man pretty much. Not going to be many of them getting out of this one alive. And there you go, the general's broken. And I think that's going to mean that these uh, Pushandar here will also died pretty quickly. The, yeah, the hybrid's going to go in. Looks like into melee. One last hurrah. <laughs> Playing a whole host of things in there. All he's going to need is one sword like encirclement or maybe just even not even that. Probably just like units just to you know, get fighting a little bit, they'll get worn down and then they'll probably just get routed. But there you go, I think that was a pretty close battle. I don't think either side really did anything too wrong. I think maybe a little bit more cav on this left flank for the Timurids might have been useful just for mobility in the other. Maybe the elephants, I think, didn't get used too well. I mean, there was three of them. I don't think many of them got many kills or had much of a great impact. Uh, try and the idea is trying to use them where uh, archers aren't um, or use them to support cav fights. So you send in the elephants. Uh, after you've pinned down an enemy cav unit with a cav, and then you uh, can use your cavalry elsewhere. Um, but yeah, this was sent in from my perspective um, of the battle. So yeah, I was playing as the royal uh, army, the Bayezid there. He did die in the battle. Well, I think he routed. I don't think he died. But he didn't get captured. That's the main thing, you know, put in a golden cage. It's, it's the main thing for him, you know, just to change history slightly for him. But yeah, it was a massive change in history with the Ottomans actually winning uh, in this one. Instead, of like they did in uh, the Battle of Ankara in history, where they lost uh, in in history, but in our recreation they did win, which is always you no know, part of the whole fun of it. Is that we can change history and have, you know, it's not kind of rigged so that the um, historical victor wins every time. Uh, we got these Janissaries here with 250 kills. My general with 125. My other Janissary getting 202. These, yeah, heavy hybrid, a uh, heavy shock did very well. One of my spears got 111 kills, and one of my Janissaries got 124. My Azaps getting 139 kills. One of my um, hybrid bows, 223 kills. And my Cav, yeah, not much. Kind of being used as anti-Cav itself, only getting 92 kills. Then we have Geo playing as the second Ottoman army. His general getting 107 kills. His uh, shock infantry also did very well, all getting triple figures. The best getting 279 kills there. His spears, 110. And his uh, Vlasa CC getting 102 kills. And then he's got some Janissaries here, 91, the best kills for them. One of his Javis getting 86 kills. And his Balkan Nobles, 147 kills. Then with Jackie Boy playing as the uh, right flank of the Ottoman army. Got 199 kills with his general, 104 with the Yaya spears here. Is a bold TC guard getting 150 kills, 233, 209 with the Azap swords, very good. His uh, Voynich swords had less joy actually than the more heavily armored one. These Javis obviously just did really well. And then uh, his Cav, 306 kills, 236 kills there with those two. But yeah, this one only getting a mere 11. Then we have Bulk playing as the final Ottoman army. He had 152 kills with his Sipi Cav here, as the best of all of those cavalry. One of his Javis getting 115 kills. Uh, then he's got his Vata CC with 196 kills, 155 kills, and then 97 kills with one of his uh, spears there. Then we have uh, Tanzip playing as one of the Timurid armies, 179 kills with his general, 
Um, and then he's got his swords, yeah, getting like 60 kills. They're not that impressive, actually. These uh, sort of like timid swords, not that great. But his uh, Pushandar, his hybrid is getting 177 kills, 155. His cav, 105 here with the mediums. And he's got his like uh, heavier cav getting 105 kills there. And his elephant's got 93. Then we have Ratman playing as the second timid army, uh, 104 kills with his Pushandar here. Uh, 98 kills with the Mongol Light Lancers. And his uh, like hybrid cav here getting uh, 226 kills. And then he's got, yeah, his like heavy bow cav here getting 180. Well, sorry, 80 kills. And his elephant's getting 66. Then we have Omens playing as the third Timurid army. 487 kills with his general here. It's very, very good. He's got 105 kills with the swords here. His uh, Tesseric Arch is getting 121, 182 kills. Crossbows, 150 uh, his light lighter cab getting like 84 kills. Uh, and then he's got uh, his sort of like bow cab here getting 250, 337. Very, very good. And the elephant's getting 46 kills. And then uh, I keep playing as the final Timurid army. 179 kills with his uh, general, uh, which I think was Timur there. And then his shock getting 74, 76 kills. And then we've got 105 kills with the dismounted Pushandar, 128 with another one there. One of his Mongol Light Lance got 158 kills, and then one of his heavier cap getting 113 kills there. But there you go, guys. That is today's 12-12 AD historical battle. If you did enjoy, would like to see some more timid action and just generally more 12-12 action, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. Do feel free to send in any replays as well to my Discord. I'm always looking for some more 12-12 uh, AD battles and sieges. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.